Hello everyone, I recently made an endgame smiter build guide, and I showcased only one weapon being used in the uber run. However, I wanted to dedicate this video as a follow up to show and compare how other weapon choices would work with this build. Please keep in mind that this video is not meant to prove which one of the choices being shown in this video is to be the better option over the other two, as each player has their preferences, their play styles, and priorities within their builds. Some want a bit of a safer run, while others desire to go all in, shield swinging, and to try to overwhelm and overpower the ubers. Also, depending on one's wealth or RNG in the game, not all of these may be a choice that players can choose from to use in the matter, especially with how expensive they can be. Do you remember that these are endgame items. I have three different items that I wanted to use in this video to compare, and with each weapon, I will quickly show the gear and the additional stats. Feel free to pause the video at any time on any one particular thing in case you want to check out the details for yourself. For the first weapon, I'm going to show the run that I did before using Grief, as that seems to be a staple for many to use when running a smiter in Uber Tristram, and it is also the least expensive of all the options in this video. Here's a quick look at all of the gear for this build. as well as the additional stats. If you want a deeper look into this build with a more thorough breakdown of everything you'll see in this run, make sure to check out my build guide that I made prior. The video will be linked down in the description below. Now let's go ahead and get started, showing how this build fares when using Grief as a weapon. Yes, warrior. Hello. Now with Griefstrom done, 
let's switch over to the most expensive option of the three, using Last Wish. I did have to make an adjustment to the gear to use this, as I prior was using Mage Fist to help hit the 75 FCR breakpoint. However, I will be switching over to using Ling of Hands for the IAS, or increased attack speed, as Last Wish has no increased attack speed, and I personally don't mind the FCR breakpoint being a little bit slower, as I'm not trying to prove which is the faster of these runs, but just trying to show the overall performance that the different choices of weapons can make for the experience. Here's a quick look of all of the gear again, followed by the additional stats. With its Fade proc, My Aura, Crushing Blow, and the Life Tap procs now coming from both the weapon and the shield, this is hopefully going to be a much safer run in comparison. Let's go ahead and get the run started to see how well Last Wish works with this build. Looking for Now, for the final option of the video, it's going to be between Grief and Last Wish as far as how expensive it is. It is neither a rune word, nor a unique. 
but rather as the Cooley combo or Burr to Shale Phase Lade. He went through quite the process of trial and error to come up with this item. I'll have the video linked down in the description below for any of you guys that want to check it out. Despite that it is D2 pluggy gameplay and graphics, it is a video that I definitely recommend you checking out. Because of the high crushing blow and the grief equivalent IAS or increased attack speed, I'm going to be using the same gear as I did with the grief setup as I want to try to teleport in quick, take them down quicker with smite, hopefully before any of them put my survivability into too much question. Of which with the setup, I put my survivability more on the back burner in favor of quicker takedowns and moving on to the next one, especially for Lilith and Mephisto. One last final look at the gear. Followed by the additional stats. With all that said, let's try to end the video on a high note and see how well this truly unique item bears in comparison to both Grief and Last Wish. Let's go ahead and get started. Looking for Hello. My grudge will not have died in vain. And there you have it, three different endgame weapons, all viable and fun to play with this build. Again, this video wasn't to try to put to rest the idea of any one of these items being better than the other two. Many players have not, and probably don't see the value in, rolling a last wish for themselves. 
as the high runes that are needed to be able to make the rune word could be put towards making an actual rune word that would be more ideal for their builds. And the 4 burr 2 shell weapon is this both bare bones and simple for the necessities of this build that so many would never consider as it would be easy to overlook in favor of the other two weapons shown. Overall, this was a fun showcase video to bring to you today. I enjoyed diving deeper into smiting. It's still not my preferred uber build, but it's given me more understanding for why so many love it. It's such a versatile build that does well, regardless if it's done with endgame items or even budgeted. Speaking of, if you want to see a showcasing of different budget items to use for a budget smiter, make sure to check out my video that discusses three different options to use, one of which completely flew under my radar and hopefully helps with those who are more limited in their gear options to still know that they can have fun going through the Ubers without a huge investment to do so. The video will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. There you are. There you are. And if you like this video, please let me know by leaving a like. It really is appreciated to be able to help my channel to grow. And if you want to see more of my Diablo 2 Resurrected content, make sure to click the card in the corner up above to check out my Diablo 2 Resurrected playlist with a lot of videos already in it with a lot more coming in the very near future. Other than that, I hope you guys are staying safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.